and good morning it is tuesday morning and a typical morning for me starts with my coffee making tiktoks because you know what i'm not afraid to show the world this because i'm showing you this and that's what i do i start every morning coffee tiktoks instagram youtube and i couldn't be happier about it I'm back and I'm in my pajamas. I am showered, I am clean, but I'm in my pajamas. And you're asking yourself, why is she back in her pajamas? Well, I'm doing a TikTok and an Instagram reel. That's kind of like a transitional thing where I start off um, straight out of bed, no makeup, all looking like bleh. And then I do like a little snap and come back. I'm all clean, I'm all fresh. I got my makeup on, I got a nice outfit on. So I can't decide what to wear today. So instead of just standing there procrastinating in my, my closet, I decided to um, talk to you all while I put my makeup on. So I showed you all this um, foundation, I think yesterday, and um, I really like it. But what it is, is I wanna show you, this is the Maybelline BB Cream. And this is a medium shade and I really like the light coverage. I was a little concerned that I wasn't gonna like it um, because I thought I was going to need more coverage. But like I told you um, when I showed it to you, sometimes we have a tendency to try to cover our, our fine lines and our wrinkles with makeup. And actually what happens is we end up accentuating them instead of just kind of minimizing them. So my esthetician um, mentioned this to me. I bought it, I really like it. Again, this is the Maybelline BB Fresh Cream uh, in a medium shade and I, I really like it. Um, I was a little worried that there wasn't going to be enough um, coverage. Nope, it's all good. And I that I was worried it was going to be a little greasy. Again, all good. So I am going to put my makeup on. And in case you all are wondering about my makeup products, I use MAC and I will, this is just the MAC um, Big Boost Fiber Gel for my eyebrows. And I got this, I always go to the MAC store in San Francisco and I actually picked up a shade that was one shade darker on accident. I don't know how I ended up with this, but um, I, at first I'm like, oh gosh, I'm gonna look like I have angry cartoon eyebrows, but I actually like the darker shade. Um, I think it kind of just pops a little bit more, so I'm pretty happy with that. But anywho, um, yesterday was my little CBS segment and I've had some, I had some really good response from it. I'm really pleased with um, just all the outpouring. Everybody like, hey, that was really cool. And I appreciate that. And um, this is called a paint pot. And what it does is it's kind of like a little bit of a color. And I put this on my, um, my eyes. That's where I'm pointing is my eyes. I put it here because it kind of sets the, um, it sets the eyeshadow a little bit better and makes it last. So people were, um, were really saying very nice things about the segment. I was really happy about that. And um, I actually had somebody reach out to me. They sent me an email and they said that they wanted to have me audition for a part in a movie. And what it is, it's, it's all influencers on TikTok, um, over a million followers. And I have like 900 and I think almost 60,000 and they're like, you're close enough. And I'm like, oh, how cool. This is really exciting. And then I read the part that they wanted me to audition for. And it's a like a steampunk kind of movie theme. And the part that they wanted me to audition for was somebody who was an addict who is addicted to Laudan, which the only time I've ever heard anything about Laudan is referenced in the movie Tombstone. Um, so I was like, oh gosh, no, I can't do that. You know, I'm a recovering addict myself. Yes, I could really get into the part because I know what it's really like, um, but I don't want to do that. I, I, it brings up too many icky memories. 
and I've already lived through that. I don't want to recreate that. So I'll email them today and just be like, hey, thanks, that was really cool. I appreciate it, but I'm not, I, I just don't want to do that. So a little side story. <laughs> coffee, 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 coffee. Gots to have coffee. So I think what I'm going to do is I do use Urban Decay and they sent me this and it was very nice and I love all these colors. The palettes are really cool. And I'm going to put on a shade called Laredo. There you go. And it's a little bit of a more muted shade. I did have somebody mention that my eyeshadow might be a little dark. Thank you for the suggestion and the tip. And it really all depends on what kind of eyeshadow I use as to what I'm going to be doing that day. Um, sometimes when I'm filming, uh, I look a little washed out. So I put more makeup on and then sometimes I'm like, oh wow, that's a little dark. So it's kind of, you know, I'm still trying to get this down pat. I think, um, I think I do a pretty good job but I put on a little bit lighter shade today because I think it will be a good color. Then um, I absolutely, as I spit all over the place, I absolutely love this. This is called a boop, 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 Pro Wear. Um, this is a Pro, Pro Wear and all my, all my little stickers are worn off. But this is just an eye, an eyeliner. It's kind of, I really like it because it's kind of a cross between um, liquid and um, not liquid. And you just use a little applicator brush and you put it right on. Boo, boo, boo. And you have an eyeliner. Super easy. I'm not the best at makeup. I'm very self-taught. Um, and I just have a tendency to stick with what I know. I stick with what's easy and it seems to work for me. I don't think I wear a whole lot of makeup, but I don't wear no makeup. So there, there's my eyes. And then what I'm going to do is I want to give my eyeshadow just a little pop because I'm a little bit of a, in a pop mood. So I think what I'll do is I'm just gonna add a little bit of pink to it, a little bit of mauve pink, just a little bit more. That's not pink enough. So let's go, let's go a little bit bolder. So this color is called Lens Blur. And I'm just gonna put that on just to give it a little bit. Because like I said, um, I just don't want to have too much of a washed out look for today. Don't know what I'm going to wear, but um, I'm just going to go on a limb and say that this is going to be the right color. So anywho, yesterday, great day. Um, this segment was super exciting. Um, got a movie deal offer. Um, like I said, I'm not, I, I have to just tell them thank you, but I'm not interested. And one thing I've noticed is, and this is like, for everybody out there is my posture is just i don't know why but it has just been horrible lately so i'm rick i'm making a very conscientious decision to make sure that my posture stays straight and this is called um do, 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 Mac up for everything lash this mascara I really like this mascara it stays on it looks really good and the best part is it's easy to remove some mascaras are nice and you literally have to get like a jackhammer to get them off um, this one nope very easy to remove so um what was I saying what was I saying oh yeah good I email them and tell them thank you but no thank you and then last but not least I put on a breath of plum this is just a powder blush and there you go I got my makeup on Boink. so exciting 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 I am going to have a good day oh one last thing I do is remember the um the paint pot that I put on my eyes 
Well, I have just a, a one that has no color and I put it on my lips. And the reason I do that is because it, it holds the lipstick a little bit more. It's kind of like a primer for your lips. That's what I came up with. By no means did anybody ever tell me that that's what that was for. But I'm like, you know what? I can experiment. And I did it one time and I really like the way that it turned out. So this shade right here is called Blankety. Favorite, favorite shade. And then what I do, because it's a little light, then I just put a little plum lip liner and voila. I got my lips. <laughs> and my face is all done. There you go. So I'm gonna struggle with my hair right now. I just do not like my hair. I'm cutting it all off on the February 19th. Yes, I am counting down. I'm so excited. I am just, I'm ready for a change and this is all gonna go away. I want a super, I, I want a short pixie cut. I think I'm ready to rock um, just a really sassy short haircut. So if you have any suggestions, you know, by all means, let me know. If you find something cute, let me know. But this is all going away starting in, on February 19th. So that's it. Let's go do, I'm gonna actually um, struggle with my hair. You don't have to watch that. But after that, let's go make some TikToks. I know I said it earlier today about this foundation. It is the BB Fresh. I'm gonna say it again because I had a couple of people ask. And I do apologize, I didn't realize that BB Foundation was kind of a, just a name of a type of foundation. I thought it was specifically to Maybelline. So I am gonna to try to do a little bit better um, job of if I mention a product, giving the information about the product um, in, the, in the comment section down below. And I've heard of something, I think that there's something called like, I wanna know, let me know, I should know, something like that to where any products that I mention, I can actually put on this website and then you just go there and you can see all of the products. Um, I checked into it once and I have to actually get, um, you have to apply for it. So I think I'll do that tonight along with my thousand of other things I have to do and I roll my eyes like you know this is horrible but I actually have a lot of fun. I had fun with you hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I have so much fun bringing you along with me and if you did enjoy today's episode please hit the like button. If you like stick around and follow me on further adventures you can hit subscribe. You can always leave a comment. I enjoy um, listening to hearing your comments. If you have any suggestions about future episodes I'd love to hear that. You can follow me on any of my social media links below and um, until tomorrow have a good night and wear what you want.